everybody. Today, we are coming at you with our SummerSlam 2024 predictions. Saturday, August the 3rd at the Cleveland Brown Stadium in where? Cleveland, Ohio. It's the 37th annual biggest party of the summer. What are we doing a prediction video on again? SummerSlam. And boy, is it going to be a banger. We've got seven incredible matches planned for this Saturday show. Six of them, which are title matches. <laughs> it's going to be a stat show without a doubt. And also rumors that somebody might be returning. But we'll, we'll get your thoughts on that later on. Before we get into our predictions of SummerSlam, we need you watching right now to do one thing, and what's that, Ryder? Comment your predictions down below. These matches are in no particular order, so let's go. And first up, we have an Intercontinental title match. Sami Zayn, the champion, versus Braun Breaker. This one, I think, is going to be very, very unpredictable. You got Sami Zayn, who has held the title since WrestleMania 40, you know, a little yeah. bit over... 100 days ago now. It's already been that long? Yeah. <laughs> Against the complete wrecking machine, Braun Breaker. Guys, has, has been unstoppable up yeah. until Sami Zayn. Now it looks like he's coming back even a little stronger, a little bit meaner, a little bit faster, a little bit tougher. Who's taking home the gold here, SummerSlam? I think that Braun Breaker is going to win because he has been beating the crap out of every men's person in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Sami Zayn and forgive me, I, I have a hard time pronouncing this this superstar's name. Dragonoff? I feel like Dragonoff, I think. I, I can never say that correct, so I'm sorry. Do you think though Dragonoff might have a little something to do in this match? As you said, Braun's been beating up um Sammy and Dragonoff and like where does where does he come in? Do you think he comes in and maybe gives the assist to Sammy or he attempts? to assist Sammy and then messes up and causes Braun to win the title? Or do you think we're gonna see Dragonoff at all? I think that Dragonoff is gonna come and get his revenge on Braun Breaker. So you think Dragonoff's gonna interfere, he's gonna to try to come get his revenge, but Braun's still gonna trample over him too? Yeah. All right, yeah, I mean, Braun Breaker is kind of hard to argue with the guy. He is, he is a wrecking machine. So you got Braun Breaker taking home the IC title here at SummerSlam. Yeah. Now we got the WWE Women's Championship match. We got the Queen of the Ring, Nia Jax, versus the champ, Bailey. I think that Nia Jax is going to win because she won the Queen of the Ring. So you think, kind of like back in the day, how whenever you won King of the Ring, it meant that you were about to go on to bigger things than that. You think it, that... that She's going to get a push from this. Yeah. Regardless of who wins this match, I'm very interested to just see this because you got Bailey, who's been on the line just dragging Nia Jax, talking about that she didn't know how to wrestle and um, taking some some pretty bold stabs at her. So I, I'm, I, I think this match is going to get extremely physical, but... I don't know, man. I don't know if it's time for Bailey to lose yet. And you know, that's your prediction. That's cool. Let's not underestimate though the, the kind of champion that Bailey is. I mean, this is not her first time at the top of the mountain. Yeah. I mean, she is a well seasoned veteran here. Um, I think that Bailey's gonna be walking out of SummerSlam with the championship, but you still going with the Queen of the Ring Nijax? Yep. And now for the US title match, LA Knight versus Logan Paul the champion. Ooh, we're in Logan Paul's hometown, so you know that he's going to have his posse and his closest friends around for this. Already going into this match, it seems like that the odds are going to be stacked up against Mr. Knight here. But I want to hear who you think is going to take the championship. I think that LA Knight is going to win the championship because Logan Paul has been running his mouth a lot. And I think that in Logan Paul's hometown, that that's just going to come back at So, and you know, Logan Paul did make the comment that, you know, this guy doesn't even have a championship. And he and LA Knight have been going back and forth for, for quite a while now. Yeah. And I think this right here is one um, has potential to be match of the night. Number one, it's got Logan Paul in it. Yeah. You know it's going to be exciting. Whether you like the guy or whether you don't like the guy, you cannot deny 
that he delivers each and every time whenever he's in the ring. And then you got LA Knight, yeah. yeah. You got him in there and you know that it's gonna be good because he's in there and then you add to Logan Paul. So these two are gonna have an epic showdown. Now, let me ask, do you think we're gonna see any famous YouTubers in that match? Um, Dressed up maybe like as a prime bottle or something? I don't know because like like the main people who have like liked it like least like like the most famous KSI and I show speed. Uh -huh. I think that no, I don't think. What if uh brother Jake Paul shows it? Oh that would be cool. That'd be a cool little crossover. I mean, you know, it's also Jake Paul's hometown. So. And then what if you were to knock out Gunter? <laughs> What? Wait, that's not even on the I'm, I'm, I'm at LA. What are you I'm talking like, about? I'm at LA. So you got Logan Paul finally <laughs> losing his U.S. title to L.A. Night here at SummerSlam. That's your final vote here. Yes. Speaking of Gunther, next up, let's go with the WWE World Heavyweight Title Match. We got Gunther versus the champion, Damian Priest. And man, you know how physical these two folks have been, constantly brawling all over the arena every week. On Monday Night Raw, <laughs> yeah. I'm curious before you before we hop into who you believe your, the winner is going to be. How do you think this match is going to start? Do you think they're just going to like get in the ring and kind of circle around and then go lock up, or do you think they're just going to not yeah, even just, wait? Yeah, they're not even going to wait for the bell to ring and they're just going to start fighting. So when it comes down to it, Ryder, for the World Heavyweight Title, who's walking away champion? Damian Priest going to retain or King Gunther? Is he finally going to get his? I think that Gunther is going to win is because it's like the same thing with Nia Jax because he won the King of the Ring. That's sad. Uh, so you think, again, that they're going to push him because of that? Yes. Now, if Gunther were to win, who's going to stop this guy? I mean, his, his reign of know. IC champion lasted well over 600 days, almost into the 700-day mark. And yeah. Like, my gosh. But... It's not doubt Damian Priest. He's had a pretty good run. Damian's an mm -hmm. awesome wrestler, great superstar. Um, like, think back to the match that he had against Bad Bunny. Um, oh, obviously, yeah. yeah, he carried that whole match, and, and you know, he's no slouch. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we're gonna get a curveball thrown at us on this one. I think Damian Priest is gonna somehow come out the victor in this match. Don't know why, don't know how. I just have a feeling. It seems like it would be kind of too early for him to lose his titles, but don't know. I could be wrong. I'm going with Damian. You're going with new WWE World Heavyweight Champion Gunther. Another match with two guys that are just dying to get in there and get their hands on each other. We got CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre with Seth freaking Rollins as a special guest referee. This is going to be unpredictable. I don't even know how you came up with a winner here. Yeah, it was all hard for me too. Ryder, I don't even know. I, I've i been watching wrestling since 1994. So Dang. For, yeah, for a very, very long time. You're old. Yeah, I'm getting there, dude. <laughs> Out of these two, who's who is gonna walk away with their hand held high? I think that Drew McIntyre is. Jeez. I, can, I can't disagree with you. I, I can think of reasons that CM Punk would win, I could think of reasons that Drew McIntyre might win. But let me ask you, do you think that Seth Rollins is gonna play a part? He is the special guest referee. He has stated, CM Punk, I hate you. Drew McIntyre, I hate you. And there's three guys in this match that literally cannot stand each other. They have expressed their hatred for each other every time they have a chance. So do, do you think that Seth is gonna get involved? He could. With it. Or he could like be like biased with it. Well, being biased. Oh, yeah. yeah, being biased is yeah. that. So you think you think that he could go either way. He could call it yeah. straight down the middle or he, he could team team up. Okay. Yeah. This is what I think is going to happen. You're not going to remember this. Shawn Michaels is a special guest referee. Undertaker versus Bret Hart. And then if, if Shawn Michaels and Undertaker and Bret Hart were still wrestling, then I don't remember it. Yeah, definitely not. This is back from back in my day. Shawn Michaels is a special guest referee. Him and Bret Hart were, were still feuding, and um, him and the Undertaker wasn't on the best of terms. Anyway, 
a chair got brought in. Shawn Michaels went to go hit Bret Hart. Bret Hart moved, hit the Undertaker. Shawn Michaels had to count the three count. You know what? That right there, that is my prediction. I think they're gonna do that, but Drew's gonna move out of the way. Seth is gonna hit CM Punk with a chair and have to count the three count. And then Drew moves on, and then you got CM Punk versus Seth Rollins later on down the way. For the WWE Women's World Championship, we got Rhea Ripley versus the champion Liv Morgan. I think that Rhea is going to get back what she never lost. I'm with you on that. Um, but your boy, Dirty Dom, what kind of part do you think he's going to play in this? Because, you know, he he's tied into this. Like, do you think... He's gonna have another slip up, you know. Like, yeah. What? What if Liv retains because Dom goes to slide Rhea a chair? Liv gets him. She smashes Rhea with it. That could happen. And then Dom is even in more trouble with Rhea. <laughs> yeah. Cost her the title, and kind of looks like to her that uh, he did that intentionally. Or is this where the Judgment Day just dissolves and becomes no more? Or what if that were to happen? with um, Liv smashing Rhea in the head with the chair. What if that's whenever Dom gets kicked out of it or he could get kicked out of the Judgment Day? Either way, I don't think that this uh, match is gonna turn out good for Dirty Dom. Yeah, no. I, I think he is in a lose-lose situation. I think that Liv definitely goes after Dom and uh, tries to play mind games with Rhea during the match, and, you know, tries to love up on Dom some. So I think that Liv's going to retain him this match. That's just my personal opinion here. I would love to see Rhea win it back. Yeah. Who who doesn't love Rhea Ripley? Like, she's she's awesome, and she's strong, and she makes everything look so, so believable in that ring, and she's just a complete powerhouse. I... Won't Rhea to win, but I think Liv is going to retain, and you think Rhea's going to get back what is rightfully hers. Yep. All right. And now, in the main event for the undisputed WWE Championship, Solo Sokoa versus the champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody. Because it's Cody, and because that's what he does. What does he do? He wins, and he retains his belt. Okay, typical Rowdy Rider answer. Let's not forget about something. Solo has Bloodline 2.0 on his side. No who, matter what, Cody's still good. Who, who does Cody got? KO, Randy. But there's, there's more of the Bloodline than there are Cody, Randy, and KO. Yeah, Cody, still. What if, hear me out. What if? We see a return of the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Ryder, what if he makes his return and actually aids Cody in keeping his championship because the numbers get too great for Cody, KO, and Randy to deal with themselves? How, how would you feel? If Roman was on Cody's side? If Roman Reigns came back and actually helped out Cody, I could possibly see that happening because Solo said that he was the tribal chief. Yeah, and that's not gonna set well with Roman. Yeah. How would you feel, though? That would, that would be really cool. So, whoa, you're telling me you would, like, sway back to the Roman Reigns side of things? I don't know. So, what you're saying is you're just gonna see how this plays out. Yeah. Regardless of that, you got the American Nightmare retaining his undisputed WWE Championship here at SummerSlam. Yes. It's going to be a heck of a show. Again, six of these matches are title matches. Only one is not a title match. And it's CM Punk versus Drew with Seth as the uh, special guest referee. Definitely suiting up to be an unpredictable night. Party of the summer, no doubt. Make sure to comment your predictions down below in the comments. We love to read what you guys think might happen and we appreciate you all spending a little bit of your time with us and that's it for me right bye